Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy, and I have a really simple project for you today. How to change your cabin air filter and just about any E53, E83, or E46 out there. All right guys, so changing your cabin air filter is a really important thing. If you've got a bit of a funk in the car or you've got a funny smell, and they really should be changed maybe as much as once a year. Also, if you've been out here on the West Coast and you've had all the smoke and fires, definitely time to change them. So this is the old filter out of my E83, so out of an X3, and as you can see, it's pretty gray. It doesn't look pretty good. Now, this is also the charcoal air filter here for the e, for the X5. So as you can tell, it's it's got a little bit of gray to it, but it's much, much lighter. The original that was here in the X3 was just bright white, like like the box right here, and you could really see the difference between the two, so I've already changed it out. The models are so similar between the E46, the E53, and the E83 that I, I can just show you on one, and you'll get the idea from all of them. It's really quite simple. So let's get back behind and let me move this filter, and then I'll show you what it's like to change this on an E53. So the E46 and E83 are kind of based off the same platform, and the engine bay is very, very, very similar. And it does look a little bit different than this, but it's very, very similar enough that I can kind of be generic across all of them. In the E46 and E83, you've got three of these little twists here at the back of the back of the engine bay, and you've got a cover that's going to lift up. In this case, you've got three, but they're slightly different. Just turn the little knobs, turn the center clip, and then you can lift this up. And here's your air filter. So just grab the flap. And the nice thing about this is you can tell which way that it goes in. It's also marked airflow with airflow with the arrows pointing that direction because the air, the air is going to come through and through your filter. So just grab on the little flap and pull it out. Now this one, it really isn't that bad in the big scheme of things when I look at it, but I'm going to change it anyway because I'm going to change the filters on all three of my cars. So as far as, in as air filters go, this really isn't that bad. You can see a little bit of uh, grungy stuff there on the bottom. Just grab the new one and the little flap makes it easy to tell which direction it goes in. Now the other thing I'm going to recommend is when you look down in here, you might have a lot of debris. You might have pine needles or, or any other things that might have been caught up in there. I do. So let me uh, let me grab the camera and show you the, show you what it looks like. And I'm actually going to get my vacuum cleaner and vacuum all of that out. All right, looking down in there, it's definitely picked up a lot of debris over time. So it's really worth it to make sure to clean that out. Get all that dust and garbage out of there. Check yours when you do it. Um, on my E83, I definitely had some leaves underneath the filter and the filter there just pulls up and out. Where this one slides straight in, the E46 and E83 is gonna slide in and lay down. Make sure you don't have any leaves or anything else out. So let me grab my vacuum cleaner. Let me get that all cleaned out. We'll put the new filter in and you're done. All right, so I just used my shop vac and cleaned it out. And that's one of the differences you're gonna get with the E53 where, where your filter kind of slides back into the slot and it can catch things. Where the E46 and the E83, the filters just lay on top. They, you, have, you lift the cover and they just kind of lay there. Now you can get some leaves and little things underneath, but it's not a deep compartment like this is. So super simple. Just now that that's all cleaned out, take your filter, send it, put it back in the same orientation and this little pull, pull flap makes it easy to tell which way that is. That's that. Close the lid and you're good to go. All right, all done. As you can see, it really is that simple and this is something you can do at home. Make sure to check the right part numbers for the air filters for your car. But if it's been a long time or you've been through a lot of pollution or smoke or anything like that, this is the right thing to do and it's an easy, quick change. Also, make sure to check out BMW Seattle. They have an enthusiast club and you can get parts and services at a 15% discount if you head down there. So this is a great way to get OEM parts a little bit cheaper. All right, thank you so much. Please make sure to click subscribe and the little alarm bell and I'll see you on my next project.